we confront the dark underbelly of social media. Beyond the cat videos and all those birthday shout outs, an alarming number of users are exploiting their platforms to spread hate. One self-proclaimed internet troll, Milo Yiannopoulos, tells us he's unapologetic and proud, even after being banned from Twitter for his infamous online taunting of Ghostbusters star Leslie Jones. He talked to ABC's Terry Moran in London. It began as a standard Hollywood production. Now there's sightings all over the city. A remake of the beloved 1984 movie Ghostbusters. Get out of my friend, Ghost! This time with an all-female cast. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. One of the stars, Leslie Jones. Leslie on the right. But within a few days of the movie's release. Leslie Jones was subjected to incredibly vicious attacks on Twitter. Many of the attacks, known as trolling, came from anonymous users, but not all of them. Are you a troll? Of course. What is trolling? How do you look at it? I like to think of myself as a virtuous troll. You know, I'm doing God's work. Milo Yiannopoulos, also known as Nero Online, joined in the tormenting of Jones, calling her a man on Twitter to his 350,000 plus followers. In the Twitter storm, uh, sure, that I happened, was you called to... her a dude. Yeah. If Leslie Jones were right here, well, would I'm you say, native. you look like a dude? Yeah, probably. You would say that? Yeah, term. probably. I probably would. Then, then, you don't then you're to... an idiot, you don't, really. You... Milo, as everyone calls him, is one of the most famous or infamous trolls on the internet. He's an editor at Breitbart, the ultra-conservative news website. He accused Jones of playing the victim and later called her barely literate. I don't say anything I don't believe, but of course I do say things in a way that is going to elicit a response from people. Jones detailed the abusive words and images she was receiving and the racist and misogynistic slurs against her that even compared her to an ape. Leslie oh Jones my is God. the equal this of idea. you or me no, as no, no, a no. human being course, with feelings? Of, of and she is. But this idea, so, this idea that celebrities are these fragile wallflowers, give me a break. You and I both know people in Hollywood. The because she acted in a movie, Hollywood you rallied people. are sitting at home crying into their iPhones. Why didn't you stand up as people called her ape, gorilla, and worse and say, guys, this is good to why do, but to not racist. Other people, not ra why should I have to police other people's stand speech? up for right. I'm responsible why not for, stand up for the right? I'm responsible for what I say. I'm perfectly happy to tell you well, I think that stuff is disgusting. So you had no obligation happy to tell for your 350,000 followers. Does Justin Bieber who have who were, an obligation to his fans? descending on no, 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 this no, no, no. woman. I'm sorry for being popular, but I am not responsible for what 350,000 people on the internet say. I am responsible for what I say. All right. Do you go after Selena Gomez when her fans send death threats to Justin Bieber? No. Do you go after Beyonce when her fans go after uh, Taylor Swift? No. The 48-year-old actress is a regular on Saturday Night Live. Nobody writes love letters anymore. They don't write love letters? Well, maybe you do, you sexy cream sickle. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to chop all the orange off and get to the crib. <laughs> Ghostbusters is her first starring role in a major film. The Leslie Jones is just one target of the self-proclaimed troll. Milo makes a career sparking outrage, spraying vitriol at many, and helping to legitimize a movement of negativity growing on the internet. One of his hot topics? When they wanted to have me removed from Pershing Square, a public space in the center of Los Angeles. Is the female physique. <laughs> You're gonna go after somebody's body? Yeah. To denigrate their ideas? Absol that, what absolutely. grade are you in? Abs Seriously. No, 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 no. Are you a 13 year old? No, 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 no. Absolutely, I will. And I'll tell you why. Because, because, because somebody body, doesn't have a weight that you it's think is, it is proper? So That's revolting. No, it's not revolting. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'll tell you what's revolting. What's revolting is the body positivity movement. What's revolting is this, is this idea now that you can tell women that they'll be healthy at any size. Why? Because it tells women that you can be fat and you can be unattractive and you'll be happy anyway. That's a lie. Feminists are another target. I would rather a healthier, equitable arrangement that existed between the sexes, rather than the sort of vindictive feminism that seems to exist now. And by the way, most people agree with me. Fewer than one in five women in America describe themselves as a feminist because they see what I see. There seem to be no limits, no holds barred for the dropout from Cambridge University in England, sometime poet, tech journalist, Donald Trump supporter,
gay, Catholic, and entrepreneur. These pathological, sociopathic, feminist liars in popular culture, we're all, we, we are, it, is, it is insisted upon us that we all pay obeisance to the cult of Lena Dunham and Amy Schumer, they're put on the cover of the magazines, and we're all expected to pretend that we like them. Well, we don't. He's talking about a best-selling author and A-list movie star who also happens to have her own hit TV series, Inside Amy Schumer. Amy? Yeah, you have the right house, 623 Supermodel Lane. Get in here, you lifesaver. Life I like Amy Schumer. She's Nobody funny. likes She them. makes me laugh. Oh, please. A lot. Oh, God. Well, you must have very low standards for comedy, I'm telling you. Oh, uh, they're not, not very much makes me laugh from Amy Schumer. These are terrible, talentless people that we are instructed that we must like unless. And then the sort of subtext is, you know, if you don't like them, you're some kind of bigot somehow. Milo declares himself a provocateur. I don't entirely believe in lesbians. A prankster. <laughs> And that no and one should be upset by like his so-called antics. If I'm occasionally mean, it's normally because they deserve it. With my name-calling and with my provocation and with my bad manners, um, you know, I think actually America's had enough of nice manners. If my rudeness creates conversation, my rudeness provokes people into, first of all, saying, oh, what a monster, blah, 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 and then 20% of people start talking about what I was actually saying. I will consider my career to have been a terrific success. Perhaps the targeting of Leslie Jones just contributes to his idea of worldwide success. In the Twitter storm uh, sure, that happened, you called her a dude. I said, said, I said it's a good job there's a hot black dude in the movie. She's like, she looks like a man. I am entitled to say that I think a celebrity looks weird. You think that's fair comment and a decent thing to do? That's like the definition of fair comment. It may not be a that's... civil thing to do. If you don't like it, don't follow me on Twitter. Milo Yiannopoulos represents the tip of the iceberg in a rising tide of hate and abuse in social media, one he clearly sees as a noble purpose. Trolling is very important. Why? Trolling is absolutely essential. America needs more trolling because trolls are the only people who tell the truth these days. Many join him on this crusade.